Hi YouTubers and gamers and I'm back today with a well a first of perhaps three videos looking at my original Xbox collection. So yeah the old Xbox um, this one in here is my um, crystal green halo limited edition uh, NTSC Xbox but I also have a soft modded transparent clear Xbox and also a nice boxed uh, black or origin Xbox with uh, that came bundled with a Halo game. So um, in t that's my hardware. But in terms of the software, I've got about I think it's between 240 and 250 Xbox games. And um, naturally, my system of choice has always been the PS2. So if, if the systems the games available on the PS2, I'll, in most cases, I'll get it on that. However, arguably, a few games do play better on the Xbox. So I've got a few games on the Xbox as well, but what I've also had, which is quite unique about these videos, is um, as far as I'm as far as I'm aware, I have a complete collection of UK PAL exclusive Xbox games. So these uh, exclusive games may have also come out on the PC, but they did not come out on the PS2. Okay, so for anyone who's interested in collecting for the original Xbox, these videos will probably be quite good in terms of giving you, uh, helping you to create a list of games that you want if uh, if you're just interested in Xbox anyway and just wondering what other titles there are out there that might be of interest to you again this, this video might be interest, of interest to you um, some of these titles will be power exclusives and they're probably mostly a sports title as more than anything else really uh, although there might be some ones some that, you know, other games that didn't come to um, or didn't get reach America so but I'm not 100% sure which ones those, those may be. So, anyway, without further delay, let's start off with, uh, with you know looking at the collection. And as always, we start off with the A's. Okay, this first video is some sort of um, sci-fi game. I haven't played it. Advent Rising. Aliens vs Predator Extinction. This also came out on the PS2. I'm probably GameCube, but the reason why I've got this is because I love aliens, so that's the reason, even though it's not an exclusive. Okay, American McGee presents Scrapland. This is uh, all nicely packaged. And then there's America's Army, Rise of a Soldier. Believe it or not, that didn't come out on the PS2. Okay, Amped, top of SSX game, snowboarding, and Amped 2. Okay, this game is, is quite a fun uh, run and gun type shooter whereby you have a bizarre weapon that fires, well, it looks like a shark, but it fires all sorts of things it does really. And this is Armed and Dangerous. And here's an RPG, Fantasy RPG, Arch Vitalis. Okay, a quad biking game that, that came out on the Xbox. ATV2, Quad Power Racing. This one is, is it a Zurich? Uh, Rise of uh, Parathia? I don't know. It doesn't look too good to be perfectly honest. This looks more, more, more interesting. Batman Dark Tomorrow. Again, that did, did not come out on the PS2. This did come out on the PS2, although it's a classic game. And uh, I think I had it on part of my PS3 collection as well. And it's Beyond Good and Evil. I've got the HD version of that on my PS3. Uh, I think they did bring out Beyond Good and Evil 2, or they were waiting to, aren't they? I don't think it's, it's, it's not definitely out on the physical format, though. Okay, Blackstone, Magic and Steel. Okay, 
Blazing Angels Squadrons of World War II. It's another cartoony type character one that's trying to create a you know a crash. Um Blinks the, the time sweeper. And Blinks 2 Masters of Time and Space. And then there's Blood Rake. This looks like a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of the speedboat games, and especially if they involve guns, so they're usually quite good fun. Um, Bloody Raw Extreme by Hudson. A Namco game. Breakdown. Um, Bruce Lee, The Crest of a Dragon. I think the reviews on, on this are rather poor actually, as a fighter that game. Okay, quite a common game on the Xbox, uh, Brute Force. You're so easy, half the time, you see that so often, don't you, know, car boots and things like that one. Okay, this game was exclusive to the Xbox and is the main reason why I bought the Xbox back in the day. I love this game, it uh, holds a lot of nostalgia for it, and that is um, Buffy a Vampire Slayer, and um, also got that as a classic version too, I do love it so, and the sequel Buffy a Vampire Slayer Chaos Bleeds. Um, I actually played this on the GameCube when it came out, and it's not as good as the first, but it's still okay, it's a, fair, you know, it's a solid game. Okay, these next three games are, you know, classics from the best racing games ever made. Burnout. Burnout 2, Point of Impact. And Burnout 3, Takedown. Now, obviously, a couple of those were also on the GameCube, and all of those were also on the PS2. And if you've been watching my videos, you probably realise I've got them on all of the systems, because <laughs> they are such good games. Okay. Right, this is an unusual game. Uh, it's a horror RPG based on the classic HP Lovecraft, Core Kufalu, or Kufulu, whichever way you pronounce it. And that is uh, Dark Corners of the Earth. Okay, um, you have to have the old Core Duty, Core Duty do 2, the big red one. I know they're not exclusive. And the Finest Hour. Okay. I've got this one because, um, well, to be honest, I've got this because I've already, I already got these on the PS2, but I thought I'll pick them up on the Xbox, and that is Capcom Classics Collection. I've got volume 1 and 2 of that on the PS2, but I got saw that cheap, so I've picked it up for the Xbox. And Capcom Fighting Jam. And... Um, and the jet ski game, uh, Carve. A couple of football games, I'll never get to play these, I won't. Uh, Championship Manager, uh, 2001 and 2002. And Championship Manager, Season um, 2002, Season 2, 2003. Both by IDOS. Alright, uh, this I guess is a stuntman type game. Chase um, Hollywood Stunt Driver. Play as a female Hollywood driver for once. Okay, moving on to carry on the seas. Nice shooter. Uh, classified the Sentinel Crisis. Yeah, you might think that was a chess game, wouldn't you? By just looking at that, but it's not. Okay, another sure. Um, Cold War. Alright, uh, another classic game on the Xbox, exclusive to the Xbox, and that is Conquer Live and Reloaded. Um, arguably not as good as Conquer's Bad Fur Day, but it's still a good game, all the same. And 
we'll sort after on the Xbox. Okay, Counter Strike. That was by Valve, so you know that's a good one to pick up as well if you like your like your Half Lives and stuff. So Counter Strike by Valve. Okay, um, these games aren't exclusive by any means. They came out on all the systems, but I got them because they're fun. And that is Crash Nitro Land and Crash Tag Team Racing. Okay, Crazy Taxi Free. We all know about Crazy Taxi. Okay, we have. Um, I'm not sure if it's an RPG or more of a battle type game, but we have Crimson Sea by K O E I. I don't know how you pronounce that. Is that Koi or Kier? I think they did Dynasty Warriors, so I think it's probably something similar to that. And Crimson Sky High Road to Revenge. They actually brought a novel to this out, and I've actually got that, which I've not got around to reading it, but. Uh, Looks a lot of fun that does. Um, you you, um, you play like an Indiana Jones type character whereby you fly some sort of alternative, you know, airplanes and stuff. So um, it's supposed to be quite a good game that. Okay, um, again, this is a game that probably surprised you being exclusive on the Xbox, and that is Crime Scene Investigation. Okay, these next games, I do like my dancing games, but but they are exclusive from the system. And that's Konami's Dancing Stage Unleashed. And the second one. And the less common, third one. And then there's Dead or Alive 3. Obviously that came out on the PS2 I believe, but this one did not. Uh, Dead or Alive Ultimate. And what's so special about that? That has um, it's got this newly designed version of Dead or Alive 2 and original Dead or Alive 1 as well. So yeah. So basically it's uh, the first two games in uh, all their glory. And then you've got your Dead Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. Um, okay, it's a pervy game, but it's a fun pervy game as they go. And it's good, I do enjoy that. Um, not just for perviness, but it's actually, the gameplay is not bad actually. So as um, yeah, the later games were pretty trashy, but the original on the Xbox is good. Okay. Deadly Skies. Uh, obviously a flyer. That's by Kon that's actually by Konami as well. Okay, so again, um, I think it was Konami did Afterburner, wasn't it? So yeah, they know what they're doing. Okay, uh, and Deadly Man, Dead Man's Hand. It's um, yeah, it's a Western type game on the original Xbox. Not a common game by any means, by Atari. I showed this on the previous pickup. Uh, Death Row, sort of a sci fi future blood sport type game whereby you kill each other. And then you got your Deus Ex Invisible War. There was an original Deus Ex, but this one. I believe wasn't exclusive. And then there's your Capcom's Dino Crisis 3. Steelbook Doom 3 Classic. And then Doom 3 Resurrection of Evil. Okay, an RPG type game that involves time, time travel. Um, Dreamfall, The Longest Journey. Okay, and this is 
is exclusive on Xbox. Dungeons and Dragons Heroes by Atari. That looks rather promising, but I think the reviews are rather average. Okay. E for Enclave, another fancy type game. Have another chance to play it. And then this is also on PS2, so it's not an exclusive, but I do like my Matrix games. Enter a Matrix. Um, it's one of the better Matrix games because they go downhill quite quickly after that. Um, again, I've got that because I love my Matrix games. And then, well, I love a Matrix, not the Matrix game, I should add. Okay, this game, um, this is a, quite a, a rare version of The Evil Dead. And why is it rare? Well, this one comes bundled with the actual Evil Dead 2 DVD. So that's a nice, nice little set there. Still got a price label on that, I have to get that off. I missed that. Okay. And then there's Robot Wars Extreme Destruction. Obviously, Robot Wars came out on the PS2, but this version did not. Um, basic robot fighting game. Okay, a classic gun system, you've got your Fable. But there was also a superior version which is called Fable or Lost Chapters which is some extra but it only comes out as the classics so looking at that you're probably turning your nose out of it thinking oh it's only a classics version but this is the one that's more valuable and harder to get and then you got your classic, uh, it's called Indigo Prophecy in the States but we, call, we had it called Fahrenheit okay for the sleeve Okay, I love my family guys, so this is why I got this on Xbox and PS2. Um, I was disappointed. Um, I got about halfway in that game and I got stuck, so the mechanics and the controls let you down on that at some point they do, so it's a little bit disappointing. Um, I haven't played a new Family Guy game on the PS3, so, so I don't know if that's any better or not. Okay, um, Far Cry Instincts Evolution, that's why isn't it? Yep. Exclusive Far Cry game, and then Far Cry Instincts, and I've got a special version of that Far Cry Instincts that came with a bag from Game Station. Uh, I'll pick it up cheap at um, CX, I think it was last year. Okay, um, okay, another shooter. First to fight. And then there's your Forza games. And these are obviously obviously exclusive on the Xbox. And very good games, all the same. Okay, uh, an Atari game, uh, a go karting one, and this one's called Furious Karting. Okay, this game is um, it's a bit like Death Row, but instead of uh, going around. Fighting each other normally, you are like a hamster and giant hamster balls. Fusion, fusion frenzy. I'm not sure if this is um, a remake to an older game on the Mega Drive. I'm not too sure about that one. Okay, and then you've got um, our creators of Lara Croft and Tomb Raider, Galleon. Um, it's obviously like a. a RPG type pirate game. Okay, then we got Gemma Army Musha. Uh, this is uh, an exclusive to the Xbox. We all know about those games. Grab by the Ghoulies. Another rare game. Not rare as in. Uncommon but rare as in the developer. And then there's Greg Hastings Tournament Paintball. 
from that case, so exclusive to the Xbox. And there was a sequel, a sequel which is hard to get a hold of. Quick Hastings Maxed. Another Capcom racing game, not that many of them. Uh, I think this is, is it Group S Challenge or just Group Challenge? I'm not too sure what they call that. No, it's actually it's Group S Challenge. Driving Porsches. Uh, this one looks interesting. Uh, it's a Goblin Commander game. This is like a I'm not sure if this is a shooter or another paintball type of game really because the weapons look well I don't know. It's another paintball game by the looks of it. And that's called Gotcha. Okay, some um mech type games, you can't go wrong with these. Um Gun Griffin Allied Strike. And then gun metal, and then gun Valkyrie. Is that by Sega? Okay, uh, we'll just do a few more, and then we call it a break for this video. Okay, so we got the classic by Valve, Half Life Two. I don't need to say any more about that one. We all know about that. Then obviously is the Halo games, original, the sequel, still book limited edition of a sequel, plus the games, a triple pack that involves the first two games plus the multiplayer maps. I've also got a version of Halo 2 that comes with a mic as well, or a box, but that's all with my other games and stuff, so that's all buried away. And uh, this this uh, special DVD that came with one of the games, it all came out with Halo 2. The Ultimate Halo Companion Guide to Halo 2. Uh, special limited edition DVD that must have probably came out with one of the games if you pre-order it. Okay, uh, a, some sort of Monster Hunter game, Hunter Reckoning. We go around hunting vampires, it's not like the original the Capcom Monster Hunter games, obviously, but um, you go around after, like I said, fighting various nasty creatures. And Hunter Reckoning Redeemer. These games are by Sierra, so um, hopefully they're better. They're, they should be quite good. Okay, um, this is supposed to be quite, quite good as well. Jade Empire. Okay, this came game this a version of this game also came out on Dreamcast, Jet Street, uh or oh, sorry, Jet Set Radio Future. Sega. Okay, and then we got the Kingdom Under Fire game, so we're heroes and Crusaders. Okay, this is the sort of a cartoony one. Kung Fu Chaos. Okay, this is one of my NTSC exclusives. Um, this is original. This is exclusive to the Xbox, but did not come out in the Power Territories. And this is Land of the Dead: Road to Riddler's Green. Obviously based on the Land of the Dead We Make movie. So. Um, yeah, this is supposed to be quite good actually, so I think that goes for a fair price as well these days. Okay, some of the Lego Star Wars games. So you've got the Lego Star Wars a video game original. That did not come out on the PS2, I, I believe. And there's a classics version of that as well. And then there's this game, Loons with Fight for Fame. A Looney Tunes type game. Not the most common game out there, but again exclusive to the Xbox. Okay, everybody, that's part one of my original Xbox collection, and until my next video, bye!